Salute Omnis. Uh, last time we talked about installing Screencast-O-Matic, um, you know, where you would upload things on YouTube using the Stab Latin channel, and this time we're going to look at uh, some things more specific to our class and the kind of screencast that we're going to make to build our library of all the Aeneid readings. So what you see right here is a picture of my Google Drive and a folder for AP Latin 2014-15 that has been shared to all of you. And so right now, there are just three files in it. Um, there's a spreadsheet that uh, tells you what screencast you're responsible for, and then up through, at this point, only about mid-October, uh, the dates when those screencasts are going to be um, due. And then it's also got a couple of presentations that I've gone ahead and made, and we'll take a look at those in just a minute. But first, um, let's take a look at the uh, AP Latin reading list screencasts. And so as you can see, um, it's got one thing to point out, there are two tabs at the bottom, there are two different sheets. Uh, so there's one for the Aeneid, there's one for Caesar's De Bello Gallico. Um, and you know, so there are dates for both of those. You do need to make sure you're kind of toggling back and forth between them to figure out which ones are yours. Um, you can also, you know, because it's a spreadsheet, you can sort and you know put all of yours together so you could even kind of know from early in the year all the ones that you're gonna have to do. Though, as I said, I've only got dates through about mid-October because we I want to see how it goes and see if we need to adjust things before I put in the entire year. So. Um, I am Dr. Jones, so I look for me, and I see that I am assigned Caesar 1.1, and I've got to have it done before school. Uh, I checked my resources to see if this has ever appeared on an AP exam. You can do that at College Central by just looking through old exams, essentially. This one, I just happen to know because a former student had to do the alternative exam. Um, this passage did show up as a translation on her exam. Uh, and then if there are any other resources, uh, you can indicate those here. So I know that I have to make a screencast for Caesar 1.1. So what we're going to do is back in this folder um, that was shared to all of you, you are going to create a presentation. And so you can just go over here to create presentation. And uh, because it's in this shared folder, it's going to ask you, you know, do you want to have it in a shared folder? Because it'll automatically be shared to everybody. And yes, yes, we do. So uh, here we go. Opening up. And um, we choose our theme. Uh, you can get fancy if you want, but we're just going to keep it simple and light. Um, and so for naming conventions, uh, like we said, I'm gonna I'm assigned to uh, Caesar Book One, Chapter One. Um, if you want a subtitle for something, you can do it. Or if you want to just ditch this, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, do go ahead and make sure that you name your document for the the work that you're doing. We'll call it Caesar One Point One. Um, and so what you're going to need to do is then get the text for Caesar 1.1 and bit by bit, sort of like we've done in the past uh, when we've done text on the smart board, I want you to enter that text and make various kinds of annotations. So um, the go-to source for all of this is the latinlibrary.com. So you can see the, uh, the link up here, the latinlibrary.com or you can just Google Latin Library and it pops right up. Uh, for this one, we're doing Caesar, so we can cruise on over. Caesar, um, and so his commentaries on the Gallic War, book one, and here we go, we're good to go. So um, bit by bit, we can take those in. So it's probably a good idea to do it sort of sentence by sentence, so I cut and paste here. Um, you're going to need to make a new slide. You do that right here. Um, you might. It, it's helpful to choose with the layout. I prefer just to make it blank, honestly. Um, then you can click within your slide. We copy the text over there. 
I just hit Command V to, to paste it, but that's pretty small. Um, and so I'm going to want to make that a little bit bigger. Let's try maybe even as big as 24 point because, you know, this is what we're talking about. Um, and I will get that in place. And um, so you can, you know, if it's, a, if it's a simple sentence, that would be fine. Um, if it's a little more uh, involved in this one, you know, it's not a difficult sentence, but it's got some stuff going on there. Uh, you can do some stuff with formatting to show that. So, you know, you might um, break it up so that uh, the structure is a little clearer. So here, uh, I have tried to um, make that a little more obvious to a reader how all that fits together. So, Galeus omnis tuisa in parte stres quorum unum in colum belgae aliam aquitani tertiam qui absorum lingua celtae nostra gale appellantur. Um, and so, you know, you're not, I'm not going to go through making an entire one here because you can actually uh, see back in our folder, I have one that is um, already ready to go. And so I'll open that one up for you so that you can kind of see some of the things that, that I did. Uh, we've got the text, uh, and then I broke the text up a little bit and made some annotations, places where um, to make the text clearer. I actually made a slide that put stuff back in for me. Uh, over here, I remember there's some ascendaton, and so for myself, I typed up ascendaton. Um, and, uh, you know, just kind of go through the text, indicate things where you want to. If there's a place where an image might really bring something out, you can, you can put whatever you want in there. But this is just to get the, the presentation ready to go. So, um, you know, so again, Latin Library is a go-to source for getting your text. Um, uh, let's see, this Caesar 1.1, I'm going to wind up ditching. So, um, but this one is ready to go. I'm going to put it back on its title slide. And at this point, I've made my presentation. I'm actually ready to... Uh, screencast it. And so if you remember from last time, I can go and open up my screencast-o-matic. And remember, we don't need the pro features. I'll just use the, the free version. And that's loading up. And, um, you know, an easy way to control it is really just if you adjust the box to be the size of uh, your little presentation box here, and then I will control it just over here on the on the left. You know, clicking through the slides and you know, kind of doing what I need to do as I go. Um, and when you know everything is ready, I feel like I'm ready to go. I can go ahead and click on record. I get my three, two, one, and you know, so this is Caesar Book One, Chapter One. Uh, of the Gallic Wars. This is Caesar's introduction, telling his readers a little bit about the geography of Gaul and how that geography affects their character. So let's get right into the text. Um, and so I can click over here. I'm on my next slide. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've got 15 minutes to get it done. And you are going to want to plan out what you're going to say uh, because if you just sort of riff like I'm doing right now, next thing you know, you've been talking for 20 minutes. But let's just call that one done. And, um, and you'll remember it takes you into to this view and we publish it to YouTube. Um, we use our Stab Latin uh, uh, YouTube account and you know sort of we do all of that stuff. We upload our video. Um, now, once we've uploaded our video, it is, there, there is another step to take. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the actual presentations here. Um, and so at our videos, it's uploaded and I've got, you know, so this is one that I did earlier for Caesar's De Bello Gallico. Um, 
and I'm going to open that up here. I don't actually want to watch the video down. right now. All I want to do is get the code for sharing it because we're going to use these to build a library. So I can um, copy this link here and where I want you to put the link is back in the screencast. And so um, this you'll see has got a link there and what that is is a link to the actual video. Uh, and so that is how when you're studying and you're ready to kind of dial up a video, this is going to be one of the places that you can um, just kind of click in. Now, we also, going back to the YouTube page, um, since you guys all have access to logging on specifically you know, within the, the Stab Latin, um, uh, you know, with the Stab Latin password, etc., uh, you can also take your video and mark it and then um, you can add it to AP Latin Screencast. And you can see I've already done that there. Uh, and that'll be another place that you'll have access um, and you can, can find the videos when you need them. Though, you know, likely, I think you'll find that having it in, uh, you know, back to our spreadsheet, this sort of playlist version uh, where you can dial up, you know, you know you're having trouble on 1.6, it's a little easier to find it here than actually on YouTube. So those are all the pieces, and, uh, you know, it's just going to take a little getting used to, figuring out things. Do take note of the dates, uh, because for the first, you know, for our first round there, I've got you in pairs. So you and your partner can figure out what you're doing, you can see when your due dates are, um, 9-11, there are going to be a lot of them due, but before that, there's actually going to be an entire work day where an entire class is given over to um, to working on these, working on the text. Uh, so hope that answers all your questions about the mechanics, and um, uh, I will see you in class.